Now we're good. Okay. Absolute list book for today. So we have Star Wars Essential Guide to Warfare by Jason Fry with Paul R. York. York. York Hart. There, that'll work. Fully illustrated. Soft cover. So there's the back of it. And this is what it covers. So, hop on your TV so you can enjoy this shit. Let me get to the beginning here. Yipes. <laughs> lots of two-page spreads. Lots of detailing. If you want full detailing and shit on War itself, check out Eckhart's Ladder. He did a whole video on the shit. So there is the table of contents. There's that. This book is about 250 pages long. Just saying. Tons of text. For the most part. Come on. But it does break down every bit of war that's going on in the Star Wars universe. That is glorious artwork, though. That's what we're in this for. All this cool artwork. I love the artwork in this. So, if you want a comprehensive breakdown of war, this is a book for you, for sure. Easily. Just easily. <clears throat> Look at that old ass hammerhead design. Nice. So yeah, I'm gonna be skipping a lot of text because yeah, that's just too much. <laughs> so the artwork in this, outstanding. I love it. And the artists are credited at the bottom or wherever their artwork is. So, hmm. Yeah. Lightsaber katana. Cool. Where that came from. Force imbued sword. Early lightsaber. Modern lightsaber. Bane and Zahan. That was a hell of a duel, too. That's one of my top favorites. Yeah, you know, blasters, and of course all the forms of fighting. Then you got the conflicts map, and that has its own legend with the hyper lanes and the timeline itself. This is a great fucking book. I enjoyed it. And there's just so much to cover in this book, and it's amazing. And it's a good teaching guide as well. But the artwork, though, that's the cool part. That's what really sets this up so beautifully. And why all the new essential guides are such great companions to all of this. Love that hair work class. And the invisible hand. And, of course, they break down... Ship sizes and everything. But yeah, I love the atmospheres and these artworks. They're phenomenal. <clears throat> That would be a cool sleeve tattoo. 
<laughs> Far fall. <follow. laughs> Boys, a trip. Fucking show off. <laughs> Oh, I think he was meant to be gay, though, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the battle scenes in this, outstanding. Probably my top favorite parts about this ship. <laughs> and they highlight different ships that were used in each conflict. And to go through that shit as well. So that's cool. They have armory and sensor profiles. They got droids. Oh, that's right. This covers... Up to the Vong War. Oh no, the Vong War, my bad. <laughs> Darth Crate and his shit. <laughs> so, Legacy Era. <laughs> my bad. I think this came out in 2010, maybe? I forget it. Naboo. That's a bitchin' shot, by the way. That. Battle in the Boo. Favorite campaign, honestly. to you and friends oh fucking yes definitely always <laughs> obviously that's cool as shit <laughs> but if you don't like star wars that's cool too totally understandable Ooh, a Cortosis battle droid. Intriguing. Hmm. I'll have to do some research on that shit. <laughs> God, this artwork. <laughs> and this book is still fresh. That's what's so cool about it. Like, I bought this off eBay, which is where I get most of my shit, and it came here in crisp, clean condition. No rips, no tears, nada. Right, grievous. Uh, trench, good man. I think this came out in 2010. I want to say 2010, but that doesn't feel right. Let me check. Come here. Yeah. Ah, 2012. There we go. Yep, so 2012. Everything up to 2012 is in here. <laughs> Couldn't remember. I was close. Couldn't remember the fucking exact year.
Yeah, the artist involved in this project, absolutely outstanding. I actually turned the light on my phone on, which has helped immensely. Although I, I'm not a big fan of soft covered books. I mean, they're cool, but mm, I don't know. So here are the shipyards before the Battle of Endor. Imperial Navy Rank Guide. But yeah, this is a great book to read alongside, like I said, all the new Essential Guide books. Because they all com they complement each other and complete each other. So they should be re-released into one big-ass omnibus. <laughs> Christ, could you imagine that shit? Wow. And then also read that with Sun Tzu's Art of War. And then you have a complete fucking layout. It's crazy. Ew, old Wheezy. Yeah. AT AT. It's my at at. <laughs> Those are cool. Definitely uh, Geiger inspired for sure. And these battle scenes are the shit. <laughs> I fucking love them. Because they make the best wallpapers and that's the truth. Like you can't say no to a good wallpaper like that. And there's war portraits as well on different characters as well. So you can always check them out too. And they're scattered throughout the book, which is cool. You got fighter pilot slang. It's pretty dope. Like this is really a true through and through guide on warfare. It gives you everything. This helps you literally write a fanfic. Not just any fanfic, any fucking any fandom, honestly. I like that a lot. This is the Tarkin. I know Eck was going to do more stuff. Oh, yeah, he's doing more stuff. I forgot. Yeah. I always did like these kinds of scenes because you get that cockpit look and then you get to see the battle and outside of the cockpit. I think this one here was actually repurposed for uh, the Hamilton Collection plate sets. I think it was. I could be wrong. But I might not be. There's the helmsman. That's pretty.
Everybody's favorite ship. <laughs> Not mine, though. I like Lando's more. But I'm more partial to Road Shadow and... Um... What's the other little fucking one I like? Oh, Outrider. Yeah. Because I own the Outrider. That's a badass ship. Oh, it's Darren Tan's work. Cool. So what makes this book cool? Ah! Marauder Class Corvette. Ah, I love that ship. <laughs> they also go into the manufacturers as well. So that's cool too. Bar and his squiddy head. <laughs> so overall, this is a great book. If you're into this sort of thing, if you're not, that's okay. I understand. That's well, totally fine. You don't have to be into this to like it. If you just want something new to read that you think it might interest you, go for it. Check it out. Library will have it, maybe. Like that setup. I have that picture on my laptop. In a folder, though. Not as a wallpaper. There's Thrawny. There he is. Oh, he's so cute. <clears throat> ah, favorite destructive vessel. <laughs> World Devastator. I have this picture too. That thing is so beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. Gone. All right, campaigns. Then we have a legend. And the destruction of Coruscant by the bomb. Harrowing shit. Oh man. Candor Zordo. Beautiful. I love the Vaughn War. God, it was so brutal. Oof. One of the best audiobook series I ever listened to. World shit. This gloss is over. Every it glosses over things, but um, if you want like full details and shit, just you know, get on Wikipedia. <laughs> I mean, literally, get on Wikipedia, type in whatever, and boom, you'll have your full details on the shit. Another one of my favorite chicks, Dala. Wow, she lost an eye? I didn't know that. I don't remember that, honestly. 
Guess I'll do some re-listening. Ah, there's Avaloth. Whoo, man, that bitch. Ow. Wow. <laughs> and then we have Legacy Era. Tie defenders. Damn good tie fighters, too. And that is it for this book. That's it. So here are all the artists and everybody involved. I'm actually surprised Jeff Carlisle wasn't involved in this, but I guess he was busy at the time. And of course the other books from Delray Books that are available. Some of these I've done, some I haven't done, some I won't do. So, oh, 246 pages. And we're done. So that was the essential guide to warfare. So, hope you enjoyed that. And, bye. Oh, that's one. So, until next time. Oh, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.